expectations and variance for discrete random variables. The expectation of x or means for x is defined as the summation of each value of x times the probability for each x. Okay? So, if given gx is a function, then the expectation of a function gx is defined as the summations of a function gx times the probability of x equals to x. Properties of expected values. A. The expected value for a constant A is equals to A. B. The expected value for AX is equals to AEX. C. The expected value for AX plus or minus B is equals to A times EX plus or minus B. Where A and B are constants. What is the formula for variance? So, what is the variance? The variance is a non negative number and it is used to measure the spread of the distributions. It is denoted by the symbol variance x or sigma squared. The variance x is given as the expected value for x squared minus the expected value for x squared. The standard deviation, sigma, is equals to square root of variance x. What is the properties of variance? Number one, variance for any constant a is equals to zero. Number two, the variance for any constant a x is equals to a squared times variance x. Number three, variance a x plus b is equals to a squared multiplied with variance x. So please take note that you have to bring out a and you need to square here. Example 1. Given the probability distribution function of a discrete random variable x is shown as below. The table here show that the value for x equals to 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and the probability for each value of x. The question asks to find A, the expected value of x, B, the variance of x, C, the standard deviation of x, D, the expected value for 3x, E, the variance for 3x and F, the expected value for E, the expected value for 3x squared plus 2x minus 2. So how to answer the question? So what is the solution here? So I share again here the table showing the value for random variable x and the probability for each value of x. A. What is the expected value for x? Recall that. The formula for expected value is given as the summation of x times the probability of each x. So what you need to do here is you need to multiply 0 with the probability 0 0.3 here. 0 times 0 0.3 and you have to plus 1 times 0 0.2 plus 2 times 0 0.1 plus 3 times 0 0.3 plus 4 times 0 0.1. So add up all this and you will get the value is 0 1.7. B, what is the variance x? The formula for variance is given as the expected value for x squared minus the expected value for x squared. So, the expected value for x squared is given as, you need to square 0 here, 
zero, you need to square, then you have to multiply with 0 0.3 here. So, zero squared multiply with 0 0.3 plus one squared times 0 0.2 plus two squared times 0 0.1 plus three squared times 0 0.3 plus four squared times 0 0.1. So, the answer is 4.9. This is the value for expected value for x squared. Then, from A just now, we just get the value for expected value is 1.7. So, we will substitute into this formula. Therefore, the variance is given as 4.9 minus EX. Expected value for X is 1.7. You need to square here. So, the answer is equals to 2.01. C, the standard deviation is given as square root of variance x. So you need to square root of 2.01 and the answer is 1.4177. Okay, now we continue D, the expected value for 3x. So, you need to bring out 3 here. 3 multiply with expected value for x. So, 3 times 1.7 equals to 5.1. E, variant for 3x. So, by using the properties for variance, you need to bring out 3 and you have to square. 3 squared times variant x. So, 9 times 0 point, uh, 2.01 and the answer is 18.09. F. Expected value for 3x squared plus 2x minus 2. So by using the properties, you can separate into three terms here. That is expected value for 3x squared plus expected value for 2x minus expected value for constant 2. Then, you bring out 3, multiply with expected value for x squared, and 2 times expected value for x, and expected value for constant 2 here is 2, minus 2. So, simplify the answer, and you will get 16.1. Example 2. The random variable z has mean 4 and variance 16. Find the following. A. Expected value for 2z plus 3. B. Expected value for 2 minus 4z. C. Expected value for z squared. D. Expected value for z minus 1 times z plus 1. E. Variance for 3z plus 1. And F. Variance for 3 minus 5z. So, this is the information given. Expected value for z or mean for z equals to 4. And the variance for z is 16. A. Expected value for 2z plus 3 can be written as, by using properties, expected value for 2z plus expected value for 3. Then you bring out 2 here. 2 multiply with expected value for z and plus expected value for 3 is 3. So, substitute 4 for expected value for z. So, 4 times 2 plus 3 and the answer is 11. Okay? Okay, B. Expected value for 2 minus 4z can be written as expected value for 2 minus expected value for 4 Z. So, by using properties, expected value for constant 2 is 2 minus 4 expected value for Z is 4. So, 2 minus 16 and the answer is negative, negative 14. Okay. What about C? Expected value for Z squared. We know that the information given Variance z is equals to 16. 
variance can be written as expected value for z squared minus expected value for z squared. Okay, so we can equal to 16 here. So to get expected value for z squared, you need to bring 4 squared here. So we get expected value for z squared equals to 32. What about D? Expected value for Z minus 1 times Z plus 1. Means expected value for Z squared minus 1. Therefore, can we, read, we can write as expected value for Z squared minus expected value for 1. That is 32 minus 1 equals to 31. E. What is the variance for 3Z plus 1? By using properties, we can write as variant 3 z plus variant 1. Then, we bring out 3 here and we squared. So, we get 3 squared multiplied with variant x plus variant 1 is equal to 0. So, 9 times 16 and the answer is 144. Okay, now continue F. Variance of 3 minus 5z. By using properties, we can write as variance of negative 5z plus variance 3. Okay, Variance for negative is always positive. So, please take note that negative 5 here, you can bring out and you need to square here. Okay, Negative 5 squared multiplied with variance x plus variance 3 can be written as 0. So the answer is 25 times 16 plus 0, that is 400.